There are several structural changes that plants have undergone in order to be able to make this transition to the land. Uh, relative to the isolation of resources, we have roofs that get minerals and water from the soil. They're highly permeable, very readily able, able to, to capture materials and transport them into the plant, especially in association with fungi, which we call mycorrhizae. The leaves and stems are in the air. They gather the sunlight for energy and uh, the carbon dioxide out of the air for manufacturing food photosynthesis. Relative to gravity, a new kind of material other than the cellulose has developed called lignin, which kind of gives a woody structure to the plants, and they can get taller and taller uh, and support themselves against gravitational pull. This, along with several other things, help in the competition for light. Uh, vascular transport system especially makes the connection for food and water back and forth between the roots and leaves, and this is supported by the lignin. And finally, availability of water or being able to tolerate drought. Uh, there's several things that have been adapted by land plants in order to uh, survive this lack of water. One is a waxy cuticle that covers the surface and prevents evaporation. Uh, the existence of stomata, which are special little structures on the leaves especially, but some stems, which allow the uh, openings to be controlled so that we can get, uh, get gases into the plant, but at the same time control the loss of water out through these openings. The fact that the sporophyte in the alternation of generation is the dominant form and that basically the gametophyte is a parasite upon the sporophyte generation. The development of pollen allows the male uh, fertilization cells to be passed from one plant to another over great distances, either by wind or through insect pollination. Seeds are adapted to withstand drought and then once moistened again to begin to sprout. And, and finally, all this ties together to allow a, a, a plant that can be tall, can gather lots of sunlight, can transport materials between its roots and stems and leaves, uh, can withstand drought, and can adapt them to a wide variety of land situations. Let's put there. <laughs>